let's continue with the buttons. Uh, uh, these four buttons are not here to fill a gap that we had in the uh, front panel. We, we add these buttons um, to give the user the ability to, um, to customize these buttons with their preferred functions, functionalities, so they can avoid men some menu diving and they can trigger some specific actions just with, with one press. We can take a look at it. Uh, for example, to, to access the button configuration, we press function and button 3, that is labeled as button also. And here we have the configuration. As we press button 1, 2 or 3, we can see the configuration of them. So, for example, what we have here. Uh, next pattern, previous pattern, to change the pattern. Next part, previous part pattern mode, in this case we have a direct access to a, 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 a specific mode, we don't need to press function and hold during half a second, we just press and ju directly jump to the mode. This happens the same with play parts, with duplicate, to save the current project, uh, to go to project mode, to go to the live recording mode, the gate recording or the CB keyboard recording or the MIDI keyboard recording. We can also jump directly to free play. We can use it as fill-ins. If we know that we are going to, to use a lot a specific fill-in for a track, we assign, for example, here the fill-in of track uh, C. The same for mutes. We can assign mutes to, to that keys, to that buttons. We can also randomize the selection, for example, if we go to randomize, we decide that we are going to randomize that track and we are going to randomize CB and gate. So if we go here and say randomize one layer selection, if we press that button, we will be doing a random of this track. Or if we have more than one track, we will be doing a randomize of the a randomization of the three tracks. Okay, mm, let's jump to another. This is for the selection. We also have the same, but for focus, depending on the track we have here we will be randomizing one or the other. For example, if we choose randomize one layer focus, if we randomize, we will randomize this one. If we are here, we will randomize in here, this one, and so on. Then what else we have? One layer focus, left LFO reset, focus, so the track that we have in focus, if we press that button, we will be resetting the LFO. The same for activate or deactivate the LFO. For freeze and revert. Uh, for DJ Nudge, this is to synchronize a non-clocked uh, source, for example, a vinyl. And we also direct access to mute and fill in. 